On the streets of Ho Chi Minh City this week, a rare protest. Dozens of people gathered outside a branch of the Saigon Commercial Bank. Give us back our money, they chant. They are just some of the victims caught up in Vietnam's biggest financial scandal. At the People's Court of Ho Chi Minh City, billionaire real estate tycoon Trung Mi Lan was found guilty of embezzlement, bribery and violating bank regulations and sentenced to death. Earlier, state media had announced the court intended to give Lan the harshest possible sentence and make an example of her. The court said she paid bribes to government officials and controlled the Saigon Commercial Bank illegally through hundreds of shell companies. The court heard that Lan paid a bribe of more than $5 million to senior central bank inspectors. Lawyers for Lan can lodge an appeal. Vietnam has emerged as a global business hub and courted foreign investment, positioning itself as an alternative to China for foreign companies wanting to manufacture in Asia. But experts say cases like this can affect the willingness of corporations to do business here. Right now, with this situation, you're having both an economic risk, market risk, and government risk at the same time, right? Because of the regulating bodies didn't regulate the banks, which allowed for Ms. Jumi Lang to do what she did. Authorities say more than 40,000 people are victims of the scam. Yuen Thi Ngoc Han says staff at the bank convinced her to buy corporate bonds. She didn't know these bonds were linked to shell companies owned by Lan. Now, after working in a cigarette factory and as a street vendor for decades, she says she has lost her life savings of nearly $30,000. When I found out, I sat in a park and cried by myself. I'll die if I can't get my money back. I put each and every penny I had in there. I just want my money back. I don't care about the verdict. She says she now lives on just $2 a day and relies on free food from temples for her meals. There will be a separate trial for the fraud case involving corporate bonds, meaning for now people like Han don't know how they will get their money back or if they ever will. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.